Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Funke Akin de Les Omogeto makes history today as it becomes the highest grossing Nigerian movie. And before now, Mrs. Akindele Belo's Omogeto, the saga, and Tony Abraham State of Alakada each grossed over 100 million era in cinemas after the Cinema Exhibitors Association of Nigeria released the 10 highest grossing films of 2020. Omogeto, the saga, which was released on December 25, 2020, Grossed over 187 million era. Then Fate of Alakada grossed over 130 million era after its release on October 1, 2020. It is indeed a rewarding moment for both Funke Akindelebelu and Tony Abraham. And of course, for Funke Akindelebelu, who continues to make history with her latest movie project, Omogeto the Saga. Few weeks after ranking among the top movies of the year 2020, this star studded film shattered existing box office records to become the highest grossing Nigerian movie of all time. Of course, this record was previously held by The Wedding Part 1, another star-studded movie from the camp of the top media executive Mo Abudu's Ebony Life Films. The Wedding Party, which was directed by Ken Maditiba, garnered 453 million era from cinema runs. Omogeto broke that record with an, with an ending that currently stands at 468 million era 36 and 300,000 Naira. Meanwhile, congratulatory messages have been pouring in for Funka Kindele Belu and her husband, JTS Excuse, who are both behind the success of this movie, Omogeto the Saga. Omogeto, which means Child of the Ghetto, the very first one was a 2010 Nigerian crime comedy drama film directed by Abio Dolari Waju, starring Funka Kindele Belu herself, Rachel Oniga, Taiwa Zan, Ugogo, Yinka Kodri and Enyola Badmos. This film is based on the societal vices by a, a woman-dominated gang. Omageto is one of the films that brought Enyola Badmos to major limelight in the Nigerian film industry. And this movie was also listed by Legit as one of the most memorable films of Funke Akin Delebelu. This film had its premiere at the Exhibition Hall National Arts Theatre in Egomu on October 24, 2010. This was the very first Omageto. The sequel of this film is the one that just broke the record, Omogeto the Saga, which was released on 25th of December 2020. The principal photography for Omogeto the Saga began in February, as well as with scenes shot in Dubai. However, the global shutdown of activities equally affected the production, as activities were currently on hold till things normalized. This Omogeto franchise tells the story of twin sisters leading separate lives while are reunited by a series of dramatic twists. And it stars Funke Akindele Bela herself, who played the dual role of Ayomide and Lefty, Rachel Uniga, Enyola Badmans, Adebayo Salami Ogabilu, Yinka Kodri, Tawo Ibukule, and Bimbo Thomas, among others. And this is a story about Lefty, who together with her squad from the ghetto was always getting into one trouble or the other, as luck would have it. Fortune smiled on Lefty, and she was adopted alongside her twin sister Ayomide by the lovely Mrs. Benson and moved to an upper-class neighborhood, irrespective of all the affluence and the new luxurious change in environment. Lefty still finds herself going back to the ghetto, falls in love in the ghetto, and keeps getting into trouble. Eventually, she gets into one very big trouble with which she tries very hard to get out of. Late last year, Funke Akindele Bilo commented on her movie then becoming one of the 10 highest grossing films of 2020 before it finally broke the record this year. And she said, it is by God's grace. Omogeto to the Saga movie is a great film. So if you've not seen it, it is time to go and watch it. Please stay with us if you want to know about the biographical facts of this fantastic actress, Funke Akindele Bilo. Her full name is Akine Lulufunye Ayotunde. She is a popular Yoruba Nigerian actress, film producer, scriptwriter, and an entrepreneur. She is popularly known as Jennifer, a character she played in the movie title Jennifer. Funke Akinde Lebelo has been able to carve a niche for herself in the Nigerian entertainment industry with the way she fondly interprets her roles, which has extended to her own soap opera Jennifer's Diary. For education, she attended Grace Children's Schools in Bagada and Lagos State Model College in Ibokuta for her primary and secondary school education respectively. Funke has an OND in mass communication from Oshida Bela Polytechnic in Ogun State and a law degree from the University of Lagos in Akoka in Lagos State. Though a trained lawyer, she decided to pursue a career in acting. Acting comes to Funke naturally. One of her very first movies that she featured in was titled Naked Wire, where she acted as a waitress 
I joined it to start and began when she played the role of a curious but brilliant secondary school student in a popular TV series I need to know, which aired from 1998 to 2002. I Need to Know is a United Nations population for the sponsored sitcom program, created to enlighten the public on the issues teenagers face while growing up. Funke has featured, written, and produced many Nollywood movies, especially Yoruba movies, and has many hit movies to her name. Some of her hit movies are Mami, Yoroka, Cobra State, Omogeto, now Omogeto the Saga, Ojo Ketala 13th Day, and a trip to Jamaica. Funke Akende Nobelo, as mentioned earlier, got her major breakthrough when she played the main character in the comedy drama movie Jennifer, where she acted as a local girl from the village who went to Lagos for a better life. This movie was not just entertaining and hilarious, but a massive success, which she did well to harness that movie's potential. Jennifer inspired her ongoing TV series Jennifer's Diary. Jennifer's Diary has become a household name in most Nigerian homes and features talented artists such as Lota Chuku, Folari, Falano, Faust Sabadga, and Lolo, an OAP and TV personality. Some of her older blockbuster movies include Apa Di Mami, Mary But Living Single, Trip to Jamaica, Industry, Tisuke, Mobs at War, and Omogeto, among others. This movie star is not just successful in acting, she's also a skilled entrepreneur. She owns an acting school, Simon School of Drama. Simon School of Drama teaches aspiring actors, producers, and dancers how to develop their talent and be the best in their creative careers. She also has a lot of endorsement deals with different brands. Some of the brands include Lagos State Inland Revenue Service, Aroko TV, Vital Foam, Western Lotto, sports betting company 1960 Bet, and many others. In late 2018, she backed a new endorsement deal with Kisto Bank, a financial institution. And over the years, she has won several awards, including Best Actress Lee Juro, at African Movie Academy Awards 2009, Best Actress at Nigerian Entertainment Awards 2009, Best Actress at Nollywood Movies Awards 2012, Best Actress at Zulu African Film Academy Awards 2012, Best Actress in the Genius at Nollywood Movies Awards 2013, Best Actress Comedy at African Magic Awards 2014, Brand Ambassador of the Year at Eloy Awards 2014, Best Actress Lee Joo at Nigerian Entertainment Awards 2014, Best Actress in Comedy at African Magic Awards 2016, Sitcom of the Year Nigeria FM Awards 2016, Best Actress Africa Collaboration at Ghana Movies Awards 2016, Best Actress of the Year at Africa Entertainment Legend Awards 2016, Best Actress in Comedy Movies at Africa Magic Awards 2017, and Best Lead Actress at Nigeria Entertainment Awards 2017, among others. We have come to the end of this episode where Funge Akendele's movie Omogeto the Saga makes history as highest grossing. Nigerian movie of all time. We hope you enjoyed this episode and listen to new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.